Hey everyone, I'm excited to let you know that this month's video is sponsored by Keen. Now I've worked with Keen in the past and I wanted to share with you a special deal that I will get to in a minute. But first, let me tell you about my experience connecting with a Keen advisor. I've shared before that when I need to get a reading for myself, I've gotten readings through Keen. Just yesterday, I got a reading from a lovely advisor named Lynn. She was very similar to myself in that she is very practical, direct, and simple in her delivery when communicating things throughout the reading. She gave me insight into my relationships, and she even helped me come up with some new ideas for my business. Now, what I love most about Keen is that the advisors are available 24 seven, and you can even schedule a time if you want. And this is great if you have an advisor that you prefer to work with or an advisor that you've already established a relationship with. So here's the deal that Keen has extended to my viewers. You can get your first 10 minutes for just $1.99. And the price after that depends on which advisor you choose. But the best part is that this service is backed by a satisfaction guarantee. Keen is the most affordable way to meet new advisors, especially when you want guidance and support on things like dream interpretation, chakra clearing, getting insight into certain situations, career plans, relationships, whatever. Now, once you become a Keen user, each week you'll get emails that offer discounts and specials so you can get multiple readings in the most efficient way available. So make sure you check your inbox this week if you're already a Keen customer. Now, if you haven't signed up with Keen yet, it's a really simple process that can be done via mobile or desktop. All you're going to do is head on over to trykeen.com forward slash intuitive gems and you'll click on the sign up button and follow the steps to get started. The whole process should take less than two minutes and you'll be on your way to connecting with a screened and talented advisor instantly. So I want to say thank you again to Keen for sponsoring this video and now on to your reading. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree, and I will be doing your Money, Wealth, Finance, Prosperity, Abundance reading for the month of August 2020. I hope you're doing well. I know it has been... It's been a lot of interesting things happening <laughs> this month, last month. Uh, I am expecting August to be full of surprises as well. For the readings this month, Virgo, I will be using my Spellcaster's Tarot deck. Uh, I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck as I always do, and then I will close out the reading with an Angels of Abundance Oracle card. Uh, if this is your first time catching one of my videos, I do want to say welcome and I invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month and I would love to share your money message with you. All right, Virgo, let's get right into it and see what is showing up for us as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity and abundance for the month of August 2020. What do we need to know for the sign of Virgo? All right, Virgo. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say, Virgo, is as we move into August, be very, very particular about your communication, okay? Uh, it looks like you're going to be having a lot of conversations, discussions, and you have to be careful, not because you're saying or doing anything wrong, 
but sometimes people have what I like to call selective hearing. <laughs> so make sure you say what you mean and you mean what you say, only because uh, it just looks like communication is going to be a little bit strained as we move into this first week of August. Now, the other things we have to pay attention to are, I see the Hermit card here, we also have the Knight of Wands in reverse with the Two of Wands in reverse. So it looks like a lot of your future plans are going to be put on hold, especially as they relate to your work. Now this is not anything serious. I'm not feeling like it's anything heavy. <sighs> but I am feeling and I am uh, getting very clearly here that uh, changes as it relates to your work, both presently and in the future, it's like you're not going to have a very solid plan moving forward. It's like things are, are constantly changing and so you're trying to make plans and then something changes and then you readjust your plans and then you know something changes again and now you have to you have to change your plans yet again and it's a little frustrating because you're really trying to set yourself up for success. You're really trying to you know, get ahead, you know, get a few steps ahead of, you know, what's going on because we just don't know what to expect. So I say that because I know as a Virgo, we're very practical. We like to have things mapped out and we function better when things are simple and they're not overcomplicated or, or, you know, oversaturated with unnecessary stuff. But I have to say, as we move into August, it just looks like we're not going to get that clarity that we feel comfortable with. We're not going to get uh, any definite answers one way or another. We're just going to have to be comfortable with the uncertainty of things as they stand right now. And I know that's frustrating for Virgos. Trust me, I get it. I am a Virgo through and through. And, um, you know, it's one of those things where we're just going to have to kind of ride it out. Now we have the Hermit card here. Now this is the Virgo card as well. And a lot of times when, you know, the Hermit card shows up, I find that it really just solidifies that sometimes the best course of action to take is nothing. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is to step back and observe. And I'm feeling like because there's so much you know, um, things going on with communication, uncertainty in the workplace, you know, it's better for us to just kind of take a step back and breathe <laughs> and also really just kind of watch what's happening. Now, the other thing is, is as you kind of remove yourself from the chaos and the noise of the everyday, this is a really good time for you to kind of strategize your own plans and really start getting really focused about what you want your life to be. I know that there's going to be some changes uh, in the home situation because I have been feeling this for quite a while, not just uh, for me, but but pretty much for all Virgos. It's like our home situation is changing, whether that be a move, whether that be, uh, you know, maybe changing out furniture, something simple like that relocation, uh, making improvements to our current, you know, home, uh, redecorating. There's definitely going to be some home changes coming and they are definitely for the better. And the hermit really just kind of tells us to embrace those changes because our home life really is very important. It's important that we feel comfortable in the home and it's important that our shelter and our abode and our uh, living surroundings really reflect who we are and where we're going. Now, uh, I see the Six of Pentacles here, which talks about being generous. Uh, I have a feeling, Virgo, that you're going to be able to uh, either give generously at this time or you're going to be able to kind of, you know, share yourself in, in another way, whether that be volunteering, whether that be taking part in some type of charitable uh, activity or event, uh, like I said, donating, maybe even getting more involved with your church if you do go. Uh, there's just going to be a lot of opportunity for you to kind of give. And I think that's really good at this time because so many people are in need. Finally, I see the Ten of Pentacles, which means you're going to be doing a lot of group work. Uh, the other thing, too, is um, you're really going to be 
kind of catapulted into a leadership role is what I'm getting, Virgo. Now, whether or not this is uh, work-related, uh, that's very much possible, but it may not necessarily be only work. Uh, you could be uh, being called upon to be a leader in your family, uh, also maybe in your, your spiritual practice or even uh, with your children. But uh, the Ten of Pentacles in the upright talks about uh, collaboration, but it also talks about uh, the responsibilities of being a leader. And I have a feeling, Virgo, that this is kind of what's going on with us as we move into this first week of August. All right, so, okay, I see this card here that is turned right side up. Interesting. All right, so what else do we need to know? for the sign of Virgo as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of August 2020. What do we need to know for the sign of Virgo? Okay, this is weird. I have so many cards that are flipped up. Okay. All right, Virgo. Again, as we move into the second week of August, look for some big changes. Again, big changes as it relates to work. We have the Page of Swords reversed, Star reversed, Death card, Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Swords all upright, which means big changes are coming and they're coming in quickly and swiftly. You may not be be prepared. You may be a little surprised by these changes, but trust me, these are changes for the better. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> uh, let's take a look here, though. Page of Swords in the reverse. This talks about you're going to be getting news of something ending, something stopping, something being removed, discontinued, um, cut off. I'm feeling like this is something uh, work and money related. Now, whether or not this is good or bad, it's all depending on how you look at it and what your particular circumstance is. But this isn't necessarily bad. Uh, sometimes you, you, you get the news that something is being removed and it's a surprise, but it actually turns out for your higher good. Uh, the other thing about the Page of Swords is sometimes something shows up unexpectedly uh, that could be uh, not not threatening in any way and I don't know why I'm getting even that word but sometimes it's something where it feels like oh my gosh you know this is something that could be totally devastating but then you are able to kind of maneuver yourself through the situation and you end up learning some lessons um, albeit sometimes in a uncomfortable way I should say so, you know, just be prepared that something is going to stop, something is going to be removed, something is going to be uh, discontinued, and it may be a little bit uh, uncomfortable at first, but as you go through it, you start to realize, okay, this is, you know, kind of putting me in, in a place where I need to be, or um, it's kind of stretched you to the point where it kind of puts you in a new level, even though you didn't think it would. And I hope that makes sense. And I say this confidently because I'm looking at the other cards that follow it. So even though you may be getting a surprise uh, stop to something, uh, we have the star card. Now the star card is, is, is a very positive card, even if it shows up in the reverse. The star card in the reverse talks about, uh, you know, things just really coming, coming into brightness, coming into awareness, coming into clarity. Now, the only thing about the star card being in the reverse is that, again, things happen in a very unexpected, sometimes in a very diluted, confusing, uncomfortable way. So you just have to really kind of embrace this uncertainty like we talked about in this first week here. But the star card also means that you're going to rise to the occasion. You know, you may not be fully equipped when something happens, but as you move through it, uh, you start to blossom, you start to learn, you start to uh, accrue uh, more things, whether that be money, talent, skills, experience, relationships, all these good things. 
Now we have the death card, another positive card. This means that you're going through a life transforming change. Very exciting because next up we have the Ace of Wands. More positive changes as it relates to work, as it relates to money, as it relates to business, as it relates to your career. There's growth, there's progression, there's increase. Um, I'm feeling too with this death change, this is not going to be something uh, that's surprising. I feel like this is something that's been brewing for a while and uh, the change finally starts to materialize and you start to see that there's some, you know, positive money changes attached to this as well. Now I say that changes are going to happen swiftly because we have the Knight of Swords here. The Knight of Swords, you know his energy is something that just swoops in and then swoops out. Now, the Knight of Swords is probably one of my most favorite cards when it comes to movement, action, and timeliness. Why? Because that's what the energy of the Knight of Swords is all about. He's about quick movement. He's about things happening fast. He's about get it in, get it done, and get it out. <laughs> okay? Uh, so this is really good here. All I can say, Virgo, is let's get prepared because things are definitely going to happen in a swift way, but it's all going to be positive. You know, I definitely see more money coming in, and I also see some big changes as it relates to our life as a whole. All right, Virgo, let's continue on here. Okay, I'm getting more cards here showing up. What do we need to know for the sign of Virgo as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of August 2020? What do we need to know for the sign of Virgo? All right, Virgo. Okay, you definitely are the magician. You are the alchemist of your life as we move into the second half of August. Here we go. Uh, we talk about you, Virgo, really coming, you know, coming into your own. You definitely show up in a way fully equipped to handle whatever life throws your way. Now, we talked about what could possibly show up with this Page of Swords of something being cut off, discontinued, removed. However, you take it and you run with it. You use that to turn, you know, lemons into lemonade so to speak you have everything you need and more virgo to create whatever outcome you want to create whether that be using spiritual tools physical tools or mental tools now a lot of the magician too means that you're in a position to to definitely be creative if you are a creator uh, whether that be a content creator an artist a musician a performer anything like that uh, you definitely have more than your share of that particular gift and you're going to be using it to its full capacity once we hit the second half of august now seven of wands uh, you're probably going to have to really be uh, guarded in your plans, in your intentions, and whatever it is, you know, really in your conversations. Now, we talked about conversations here being a little bit strained. The Seven of Wands talks about you having to defend, having to be very, very guarded. Like I said, uh, you may have to be very, very um, elusive about what your next step is or what your plans are going to be. Uh, and that could be a good thing, considering things may be a little uncertain here in that second week of August. But, you know, just be very guarded about what you're doing. You don't have to get anyone's approval and you don't need to share every detail about what you're doing, why and how you're doing it. Now, next up, King of Pentacles. When it comes to work, when it comes to money, uh, you really need to be on your A-game, Virgo. You need to start researching, getting yourself financially literate, getting some financial intelligence, too, because there's opportunity there. However, you need to be well-versed in that, okay? You're probably looking at investments. Maybe you're looking at options for savings or, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, the King of Pentacles talks about being financially smart, making solid financial decisions. And that's something that I think you're really going to be focused on once we move into the second half of August. Uh, next up, the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords, sometimes this is a defeatist card or a defeatist energy, I should say. Other times, this is a card about separation. It's about separating yourself from things that are no longer working, from relationships that just aren't serving you. 
uh, sometimes at your own expense, sometimes at the expense of other people. Uh, whatever the case may be, don't be afraid of you know distancing yourself from something that's not working or as we talked about here with the hermit, just stepping back even if it makes you uncomfortable or if it makes other people uncomfortable. Remember, you don't have to explain, justify, or defend anything you're doing as long as it fulfills you in some way and as long as it's something that you are choosing to do for yourself. Okay, Six of Swords. Looks like you could be taking a trip, Virgo. You could be having a uh, planned getaway or vacation. The other thing is there could just be movement, maybe not physical movement or travel, but this could also be movement in your work. Now, uh, because we have the Knight of Swords here and we also have it where uh, this card fell on the Ace of Wands, I'm feeling like this could be something work-related where you, get, uh, you relocate in your job or maybe um, there's something that happens geographically in your work that allows you to travel, allows you to relocate. Maybe you have people that you are communicating with overseas. Maybe your business is expanding internationally. Whatever the case may be, just know that you're going to have some type of geographical movement as it relates to your work. This is very exciting. Finally, we have to uh, really check in with our mindset the Eight of Swords is all about limiting beliefs, self-limiting beliefs, or sometimes just really, um, it's when we start to see ourselves not in our fullest potential. So we may think, oh, I can't do this, or someone may say, oh, you know, you did this and that's not possible, whatever the case may be. So just really uh, check in with your mindset as we move into the second half of August because, you know, uh, it takes mental strength sometimes in order to be successful, in order to really uh, achieve your goals and to attract more money. Now, I feel, too, that there's been a lot of uh, hesitation, Virgo, because sometimes doing something new and different uh, is, is scary. And so you have to work through those fears and you have to work through those blocks. And so this is just kind of, I'm seeing this as a reminder, Virgo, to not, to, to not stop doing the inner work, to not um, project your fears onto uh, the circumstance that you're going through. Remember, everything happens in the mind first and then it you know, shows up in the reality, in your reality. And so I'm really feeling like this card is just kind of a heads up to really check yourself, really make sure that you're in the right headspace mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. All right, I'm getting cards here. Virgo, so what else do we need to know? For the sign of Virgo. As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. All right, Virgo. So uh, as we close out the month of August, looks like things are still going to be a little cloudy. And I say that only because I see this moon card here, the hangman and the fool in the reverse. But let's start here. Two of cups and the six of wands. Two of cups talks about a divine union, a divine connection, a partnership, a passion relationship could be coming together, could be happening for you. Now, this could be something personal, could also be something work-related. If you're looking for a job, this card showing up means that, yes, you are going to be getting a job very soon. You're going to be getting uh, an offer. Maybe it could even be your dream job whatever the case may be just know that there is going to be a coming together of some sort as we get towards the end of August next up we have the six of wands talking about recognition also about being seen if you're uh, on social media just know that you're going to be attracting a lot of attention as we move towards the end of the, uh, the month of August uh, also to just being recognized being unnoticed uh, sometimes uh, showing up and then people like really embracing the fact that you're there and they really admire and see and respect whatever it is that you're doing whether it be privately or publicly uh, just know that you will be attracting a lot of attention and you know how you feel about that <laughs> whatever the case may be it's definitely going to be for for the good you know this is going to be a positive thing that you're attracting your you know attention you're being seen and people are recognizing you for who you are and what you do now 
we have the moon card here, which means that there's something, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know if I want to say deliberately being hidden, but there's something we just don't know about a particular situation. Now, the moon card fell onto the king of pentacles and the five of swords, and I'm feeling like there's something financially that we just don't know that's going on. Something could be being deliberately hidden from us. Uh, when I see the moon card and there's something that there's a question about, uh, that's very much strongly giving me a warning as to not make a decision or not to take any action just yet because there's still some information I don't know. There's still something that's being, um, you know, not revealed. There's still a secret. There's still some information that I have yet to discover. And so I'm saying that, that when it comes to a big money decision, when it comes to moving uh, you know, through your own money cycle and your own money flow, uh, try to hold off on making any type of major decisions, especially in this last week of August, because there's something, Virgo, that you don't know. There's something that uh, you are not aware of, and the best course of action to take when you're not fully informed really is no action. You know, don't act hastily. Do not uh, be in a rush for anything. Uh, really take your time, step back, and let things unfold in their own way and in their own timing. Now, the next card we get is the hangman. And again, this card just kind of reiterates what we talked about here. The hangman is about being stuck in between two places. Also, sometimes the hangman talks about uh, choosing not to move forward or not to move backward. It's, it's literally kind of um, being stubborn sometimes in a way where you're just choosing to stay put until something better comes along. And I have a feeling that's kind of the energy we're going to be in, Virgo, as we move through the end of August. Finally, we have the Fool card in the reverse, which means no new adventures are going to happen uh, at the end of the month. Now, this is not anything to be disappointed or discouraged about. Um, you know, we talked about here that there could be some travel, some geographical movement, also paying attention to our mindset. It looks like that's going to kind of um, kind of hinder some new projects uh, that we have that we're moving towards as we move into September. Now, this is not a bad thing, right? Sometimes, you know, you don't always have to be doing, doing, doing. Sometimes it's okay to just stay put and see what happens before we decide our next move. Now, the Fool card also talks, too, that sometimes we could be so overly anxious, you know, to get something done or to see a result that we move ahead anyway against our good judgment. So, uh, depending on <laughs> what you decide to do, Virgo, uh, you know, this could go either way. You could either be naive and hasty and make a move even though the warning signs are telling you just kind of wait things out. Or uh, you could be very clear that you're not ready to make a move yet and you're deliberately staying put until you feel the time is right. So either way, you know, it's however you want to embrace it, Virgo. But, you know, we always are very much... Virgos, you know, we don't like to be told what to do, <laughs> but at the same time, we like to be in control of when we do something. So, you know, I'll just say uh, this is basically some kind of a some kind of a heads up, a warning, a, you know, here's the potential possibility, here's what could happen, here's what couldn't happen, you know, so just kind of take your time to evaluate the entire situation before you make a move, because this could definitely affect your money, because that's what we're focused on here, but it could also affect you personally, which indirectly affects your money as well. All right, Virgo, uh, August is going to be very telling. It's going to be a very revealing month. But I think it's going to be good for us. You know, I do see a lot of professional and personal growth here. All right, let's go ahead and close out your reading with a Angels of Abundance Oracle card. It says, Detox Your Friendships. Hmm. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time. So be discerning about your associations and relationships. 
Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. Yes, couldn't have said it better any I couldn't have said it any better myself. Uh, yeah, detox your friendships. I do see that. What were we, was that here? Uh, could also be here too, you know, paying attention to your communication. I think that, uh, yeah, this is something we need to pay attention to throughout the month of August. And this could also kind of be affecting us here as well, you know. Pay attention with who is around you. Pay attention with who you're interacting with. So, okay, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, <clears throat> excuse me, comments, concerns, observations, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And if you'd like to connect with me for a private reading, I will have that information linked for you in the description as well. All right, Virgo, thank you so much for spending this time with me. We will definitely do it all again next month.